And uh, we have this headline here as well. XRP stores 40% in just one week. And data shows rise could continue. Do you mind showing an XRP chart for us then? And what's your thoughts on the current price action? And uh, what do you think we see? Do you think we see a move up to that 80, 90 cents? Do you, do you, do you think we see a drawdown uh, coming? Well, what is the chart saying? Uh, yeah, so sharing my screen here, I'm I'm full disclosure. I'm disgustingly bullish on XRP, and that doesn't mean that it, it couldn't come back down, couldn't correct. But I mean, you don't get these kind of huge macro setups in crypto very often. Um, if you look at and we're we're sitting in a situation where we see both the backdrop, of the fundamentals for XRP are really really solid right now, uh, and it's supported by a bullish chart. Um, so before I get into the chart, just look at what's happening. Like XRP has been suppressed for a long time. Uh, you know, didn't even make an all-time high last cycle in large part because it's been wrapped up in this SEC case. The SEC is dropping cases left and right. The regulatory, you know, like Gary Gensler is getting pressured out. Uh, the, the Trump campaign is very likely to, to win. He's leading by 70% odds. Right. So if Trump gets elected, they are super pro crypto and you're probably going to see a resolution of this SEC XRP case relatively soon. Whether, you know, as long as it's a neutral or favorable outcome for XRP, I mean, it's probably going to go through the roof, you know, and pump just because it no longer has that overhang of being wrapped up in an SEC case where there's uncertainty as to what the resolution is. Right. So, then we look at the chart, and we're on the weekly chart here. Weekly is a pretty high time frame for, for crypto. Um, we've seen the this play out for XRP in the past where you just have these symmetric tri triangles, this big windup, this big coil up, right, on the weekly, and it leads to explosive markups, right? And this is something that I think a lot of people will probably, if they get in, they'll probably end up selling too soon, um, you know, on a, on a correction when, when in fact, the, I think this can mark up significantly and just, you know, to, to kind of show an example and it's, it, this doesn't have the, the necessarily the, uh, you know, the coiling, which is I, the coiling here is much cleaner than what this Tesla setup was, but you have like a multi-year consolidation and then the gains occur. Like Tesla didn't just run hard for like a very long period of time. No, it consolidated and then it marked up. And then it consolidated and you made nothing, right, for multiple years. And then it marked up and then you've made nothing for multiple years, right? Um, and that is what, that's how XRP has, has essentially traded thus far. You make nothing for multiple years, you mark up, you have like a pretty long consolidation here, mid bull market, and you mark up again. And now it's just been consolidating sideways and it actually has some bullish catalysts coming down the line with regulatory and administrative changes uh, administration changes, uh, as well as like they're launching a stable coin as well. Um, and we're seeing like this whole real world asset narrative, you know, come to fruition. So look, I could be wrong on XRP, but the chart says violent move soon. And we've just bounced off the bottom. And then, you know, if we want to talk about like mirroring past price action, we have this, this big, uh, and, and I'll try to, you know, make that a little cleaner and change the color so people can see, uh, and it's more even even more apparent if you zoom into like the three day or whatever. But this this big uh, descending wedge that took price action below the trend line before this huge explosive move up, and we had the exact same thing that just happened. You had this this nice descending wedge, right, that took price action below the trend line, line and we violently revalidated it. Um, I think a lot of people, if we take out seventy five cents or so, these last two highs here, a lot of people are going to jump in into this trade from a long perspective, and it's just going to accelerate up. Um, I'm already long because XRP has been on my watch list. I've been, you know, pounding the table saying XRP, you know, it's been an underperformer, but you need to have it on your watch list because when this thing goes, it's probably going to go in a really big way. Um, so as soon as I, I saw this, you know, break out of this trend line here and revalidate this, this, you know, bottom trend line, uh, I jumped in at 48 cents um, pretty aggressively. So full disclosure, I'm long already on this, but I am looking for this to, to go higher. And I think this is something that could play out over the next couple of months, but I want exposure to something that moves very violently. And again, you don't get these violent markups very often. So when they do present themselves, I want to take that risk, right? Because I think this can move to a very high, mar uh, very high market cap, very high price. Um, like people scoff at the idea that this could move up to $17. And I think it could, it's not my main target. 
is kind of on the higher end of my target. And then people do the math on it. Like, Oh, that would be a $900 billion market cap. Yeah. NVIDIA is trading at like 2 trillion plus, right? Uh, like in 2017, before crypto was even big or 2016, uh, this was like 30% dominance, 30% market dominance for XRP. And up here, this was 300 billion in the 300 billion in 2017. When the, the, like, I don't even think we had crossed a trillion market cap uh, or we were just barely, like Bitcoin was 19K. Bitcoin was 19K, like, and this was $300 billion in market cap. Like in a proper bull market, things can just get out of hand and mark up significantly. Do I think it's going to shoot up to 17 and stay there for a long period of time and consolidate it? No, it would be a blow off top situation where you'd get an 80, 90% correction. But I think $17 is quite possible for a blow off top bubble situation where it just zips up to 17 and then you probably see it consolidate back down to like $2 in a bear market. That's how these markets move in bubbles. And, and I think people really sell themselves short and get surprised and caught off guard when these they finally make this big move uh, and they just completely miss it. And, and I think we're in that time frame where you really got to be considering, um, you know, what what could possibly move in a really big way and how do you get exposure and how do you uh, get a get a nice entry that's you know uh, uh, positioned well according to your your risk thresholds. So um, yeah, I, I I like XRP here. Um, if it moves down it moves down, I'll just cut it. I'll be wrong. Um, and I'll stop myself out, but already in a pretty decent profit. So, you know, got wiggle room. Um, look at, look at the smile on that man. With. Look at the smile on that man's face. You made his entire day for us. No, no, no. The smile is seeing you <laughs> when for the safe. Look, same I have XRP. So yeah, sure, if sure, it goes yeah. to $17, great, man. I'll be ecstatic. Yeah. Uh, you know, my video I did earlier, I talked about much lower targets as far as the breakout. And I looked at the uh, the monthly chart, the weekly chart, and XRP against BTC, and um, I agree. I think there's going to be a big move. I don't know, seventeen dollars. I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> we've seen things. Uh, you, you say this all the time, Forrest. Hex got to eighty billion. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm not going to write anything off. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people in our community would be extremely happy uh, if XRP got off to uh, got got to seventeen dollars, but.